Hey, I'm Paul from Flutter Ferry. Today, I'm going to talk about real time pagination with Firebase. So, what's pagination? And pagination is a way and it's a process of dividing large data into a discrete pages. Now, adds that going to affect your Flutter application. Now, if you are calling about 10,000 documents, you're making an API call and you're calling that document to your application, and that could cause um, performance issue and a lot of reads because in our case here we are using the firebase so the firebase actually it builds on reads and it gets and um, from your um, firebase so that's what we are going to um, talk about today how to limit that and you can see in this application here that I've written um, that you can see the first um, document we have um, gotten from the database is just 20 and if a user screws up and we want to fetch more data and we want all of this to happen in real time so i'm going to scroll up and you see we get more data you can see we get more data and more data and more data so that is what we are going to do here and you can see i can change this name here from the database just like this and this is alpha and i can change this to um dude here and it changes it reflects it so this is what we are going to do on this application we are going to do on this tutorial so let's get to um, the code so um i want you to add this plugin to your um, prospect.tml because that's the way that's the only way you can use the firebase on your flutter application by adding the firebase core i'm using the latest version here and i'm also using the cloud firestore and i'm also using the provider package now i'm using this to uh, manage my states and also i'm using the get it to um, fetch um, data from my repository to the states and uh, which i'm using and for those of you that doesn't know a lot about firebase how to connect that i have some videos that i've posted for that you can check that out what we are going to do here a lot is on the lib folder so I'd like you to go to the main dot that here and we have um the widget flutter binding which whenever you're calling your initializer app you should call and and this initialize your firebase and app and also we have the get it um service and the get it service um it's what um we call i'm going to show you that and also we call our run app so I'm going to go into this get it service and you see that we have registered some um, repository, some repository to uh, get it. Now, why this is called um, register singleton, this will make um, a class, a singleton class in the, in the sense that wherever we call this anywhere in our Flutter application, it's not going to create a new instance of this class. So, and that's going to help us. So I'm going to go into this class. And now this is the user repository that um, goes to our API, that makes the API call and we retrieve this um, documents, this data here. And here you can see that we have a user and I'm going to go here to explain this. Uh, we have the models here. Uh, we have the models here and also have the repositories here. So in our model we have some variables like the id name email and we have um, the from map function which we'll be using to serialize it to um, usable objects like from the map where we get it from firebase and we have some equality here that we are also going to use if you're checking for equality and here in the user repository we have a stream subscription and this we initialize it to an empty my, um, list and here in our constructor we are clearing our um uh, listener let's go there and here in our listener we loop through them and cancel them and also clear it now in the next here we have a fair base user which points to our users collection and which is this in our users collection and we also have this value um, notifier so this value notifier is going to help us notify whenever um there is a new change uh there is a new change in a document it's going to notify and here we have the query um user query snapshot so we are going to save the user query snapshot on this so we can um, retrieve the last documents we want so 
and this entire function and um, fetch users fetches um our users from our uh our database here so initially the initial um optional parameter here is set the limit to 10 that we are going to um fetch and here we have a try and cache as well um let me make this bigger so here we have a try and cache and so we, we can cache any error that occurs and here we have the query and we also have to limit this to whatever limits we pass in here and we are ordering this by the name and descendant set to false and this makes it um um alphabetically from um yeah descendant here you can see it's descendant so and we use the with converter now using this with converter will convert um the the whatever data you're getting to a usable that object so this is how to use it from firestore you pass in your from map and to firestore you pass in your to map and and from this we are checking if the user um, query snapshots which is up here it's null now if this is null, we um get the first um 10 or the first limit here in this case is 10 here we get the first 10 and add that to um, our listener so we call the query snapshot listen and we get that um, um, um stream scope subscription and add that to our listener list here and if we scroll more and we make another api call to this um function and this is not going to be null anymore it's going to run the next um, block and the next block is going to start after document now we are going to check this since this is not going to be null anymore we are going to go in here and check the last document of this and and get the snapshot and listen from there so that's what will happen and we'll get the stream subscription and add it there and we are having some prints here as well so you can check in um in the listing function here that every time we are setting it to the user and query snapshots and here we also have a common uh, method here that says add to user and the event here is a query snapshots user so in here we have add to user and if we go to this function it takes a query snapshot and um, with a, the user type on it and this is called event here and we have a for loop that loops through the documents here and we wish we have the user document and from there we retrieve the data which becomes the user and from there we check to know if this document already exists in our user notifier here uh, value notifier uh, here if it exists if it exists we um, remove that and insert a new one that means this is going to happen in a in an update manner so it's going to remove the previous data and and add a new one since we are using immutability here and the next if this doesn't exist it runs this and add this to the list and at the end of everything we call um, user notif notifier and um, notify listeners so when we call that what whenever this function runs this get called and we can use that in the state so let's go to um, the main dot that's here and we can go to the my app and here we are using multi provider and for this and we are registering and instantiating the home state and in the home state is where all our logic is going to lie so we have our mat material app here and we have our home view so from our home view let's go to our home view we'll visit the states but let's see how our ui is built and here in our own view we can see and uh, you can see the own view and can see the scaffold the abba the abba text widgets the user list which is what you're seeing here and the user card so let's visit the home state now in the home state we have some few things here and and here and this home state extends um the, our base state now our base states in most of my project that's what i use now so in the base state we just have something like is loading error te uh, error message and and sets loading and this simply extends change notifier which is almost the same thing doing it here 
so and here this is our provider class and i usually call it states and in the f and in here i have the locate um, method which we create in the get it service that locates the get it and um, with the type t here and we locate the user repository and use that in our state here and for here we we need to have a scroll controller and we call this home screw controller and which listen to the screw we are using here and we also have a list um, of users and also we also have users list and we are getting it from the list of users here i'm going to tell you why we are using this so we also have um three booleans here um this is not um, needed here and we also have this we also have the is first users as next users so and we also have the limit to now our limit to here we are setting this to 20 and we also have colors now this colors is the different colors we are using here so we just added these different colors here so we can use this in our ui as well and and here we have the home states and um, this actually acts like the init states when it comes to um stateful widgets so when you're using the change notifier uh, if you if you um, um call your class constructor this way and your uh, this is this class is going to be first called whenever this is called the home state is called um, the constructor is going to be called first so here is a good place to initialize the screw controller and load next bash user to add listener to our user uh, user notifier and also add listener to our screw controller so let's see let's see this on our load next bash user so in our let load, load next bash user we have some check here like has next um, user if this is true and we also check is fashion user and if this is false we are going to run this first we are going to set this to to true the is fashion users and we are going to get the previous user length users length and we are going to get that from the user notifier dot value length and we are going to get the length of the users here and we are going to make the network call to the um first users and we are limiting the um numbers the um, document we are retrieving by which is 20 we are retrieving just 20 documents that's what the limit does um, limits in the um, user repository uh, you can see it here limit that's what it does it limits um, the document you're getting and here um, in the next bash let me go there and we now then have a delayed function now there is a reason i added this so we can get a little bit delay when sc and scrolling so we can see at least see that it stopped and we see the data coming so you can remove that on your end and we have the new user's length and we get the new user's length when we fetch the data we you can see in here we are already adding it to the user's um notifier and whenever we get the next data and it's as next value this will um automatically change to false so if um the if this the new user length is equals to the previous user length and this as is true you we should set it to false and at the end of everything we set um we set is fetching users to false now whenever this class is being called the home state is being called we run the load next bash user and here we check if the um, user new user list and new user length is greater than the previous um, user length and we call the um, user listener now what the user listener does it gets it from the user repository and store the users in the um, users in the um, the home state here so that is what it does and in our ui here you can see and in our home view here you can see that we have our home view we have a scaffold and we have some prints here to know um to, to control our builds on because we are using provider 
and here we have the app bar we have the app text and um, widget so we can go there and see so what is right here on the screen so we can go there now we are using this context dot select now this select what the select does it's listen to a specific a specific data on your own provider yeah your own states so that's what i called it and now we are listening to the um to the user list here and um, we are getting that from the uh, we are getting that from the list here now th this is how the selector builds and we can get the length of that here in our um real-time pagination the length here uh, let's go down uh, we have the user list and this is where all the phones begin so to display the um, data so here we have our users which we are doing the same thing and we are getting the length getting the um controller and um, the controller the screw controller let's see this so you can see it in the home states and you can see what it is listening to here so what the screw controller is actually um, checking here it, it's checking if the screw home screw controller is no we should just return we shouldn't run this function this method and if this is not no it's going to get the rich max extent if this is true it's going to get the out of range if this is true we are going to load the next batch so what that's what the um screw controller helps us with and here we um, then get the colors from the um context dot read now why using this context dot read and in our in our a list here we it is a const we we are not changing this so um it's good to use the the read here in this sense that we this doesn't uh whenever you use the read on provider it doesn't listen to anything it's mainly used to dispatch and event so but using it here it's a a nice one because this um home controller okay using it here in the colors um is a nice one because this colors is already a const constant and also using it here in the home screw this is this passion um event so using it here is also good as well and we get the colors using the module and uh, modular and we are um doing this with the length of color colors we already have and the, the index here and we are passing this user in the user card passing the color and also the on top and let's go to this user card now in this user card we have a list we have a list style and here we have the on top we have the title the subtitle and we also have the um circle avatar now in the circle avatar we have the name and we convert this to an uppercase and we get the first um letter in that list so it looks um nice so it looked nice so that's what we are doing the user um card and this user card you can find it in the components now the reason i put it here if this application should scale we might um, want to call this user card on a different um widget or we might, we might want to reuse this and this will be very very easy to use throughout your um, application and we can see here that whatever listener we have here in this um state we are whenever the state is being disposed we are also disposing them as well so yeah i hope you have learned and um, something on this and how to make this and um, work and uh, how to make this work and yeah so that's pretty much it i am happy you did up to this time in this tutorial uh yeah if you're not a subscriber you can just click on the subscribe button and click also on the um bell button as well to get updated whenever i post new things on the channel and yeah that's big motivation for us that's big motivation for us so thank you for watching to this point in this video i i love you guys thanks bye